Hey guys, Ben here. Um, I kind of ran into an issue when I was working on my 50 Weeks to Fulfillment project. My first week, I was, uh, I'm working on a weekly time budget, and I don't know, I kind of ran into some issues when I saved the Word document and then reopened it. Some of the shading colors that I used for my table and my cells just weren't saved. They weren't saved in the recent colors, so I couldn't just go and, say for example, select a table, copy... Uh, you know whatever I have there and then paste it to another section and have the same background color and I couldn't go and select you know like say uh, recent colors or anything like that because that info just wasn't saved so you know I was kind of scratching my head and you know it probably took me a good half an hour to actually find out what I need um, just by kind of poking around in Microsoft Word so in order to save you guys time I want to show you what I did to make my life easy and hopefully make your life easy too. So first off, what I did is I wanted to go ahead and st create a an additional uh, toolbar, if you will, just, just so I can quickly select the tool that I need and hopefully this will help you as well. So what I did is I went and right clicked on this and select customize the ribbon. And then while we're under this main home tab, what I went and did is created a new group and then you can rename that group whatever you want and what I did here is I went and created an additional I went and created a group called table styles and I found this essential tool called style inspector in order to find that I had to click on this list arrow and go to all commands so a little bit of a pain in the butt to find and now since it's such a long list the easiest way I found to get to it is by just pressing T and then as you can see it's a little bit further up here you just click on style inspector and then you would click add and it'll show up right under this newly created group so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel out but you guys just click OK and then you'll have just the st style inspector up here under the uh, new section or the new group and what we're gonna do is just go ahead and click on the cell with the color that we want and we're going to go ahead and click on Style Inspector. And then we have this little icon down here that says Reveal Formatting. And now that's going to bring up a bunch of useful information and, you know, probably information we don't really need too much. But the primary thing we're looking for is the cell shading or the cell background color. And that's exp um, shown down here under RGB. Uh, RGB stands for Red, Green, Blue. It's kind of a coloring system used on computers. So since I have that cell color, the same one that I want right here, I'm going to go ahead and take a peek at this, and I'm just going to copy it over for future reference. So then this way, whenever I go and reopen the document, and we run into the same issue where all of the recently used colors aren't saved, I can just go ahead and easily punch in that value if I need to, to color the cell uh, background, whatever I want it to. So now these are the cells in question that need to be recolored. So what I'm going to do there is I can just click on this list arrow and go to, go to more colors. And then we're going to go under the custom tab here. And we're just going to go ahead and punch in the initial value that um, we had had recorded right here. So sorry about that. Let me go ahead and reselect this. I had to scroll down. And I'm just going to click more styles, custom. And we're just going to punch in the 221. I'm going to hit tab so I can go down to the next box or you can click. I'm just going to do 203 and 127. And I'm just going to hit enter or you can click OK. And look at that. It just gives you the exact color that you wanted. So that's just kind of a quick and easy way to do it. Um, if you guys have any additional tips or a quicker way to do it, then please let me know. Um, but also be sure to save your RGB values just as I had recommended then that way so let me go ahead and save this and uh, we're gonna go ahead and close the document and reopen it and I'll show you exactly the the issue I'd run into there I click on the shaders again and as you can see there's no saved colors anymore so that's when you know this kinda really shines when you wanna go ahead and you know, put in those old values that you had. 
So anyway, again, my name's Ben, and hopefully this video has been helpful. Please, um, if you find a more useful way to do this, please leave a comment in the uh, section down below. Uh, if you found this helpful, please leave a like, and consider subscribing to my channel if you like some of the other stuff on it. Thanks, and have a good one, guys.